Path. I am your host, Nizzy. In this video, you guys, we're going to be talking a little bit about the Toronto Raptors and their recent struggles coming out of the All-Star break. You guys, it's been a tough stretch of basketball watching this squad play. Um, as a Raptors fan, very, very tough to watch these games, you guys. Um, we're at a 2-5 and five record coming out of the All-Star break here. The only two wins we got were the back-to-back -back games versus the Brooklyn Nets. Um, you know, <clears throat> just been getting absolutely shit-pumped by some inferior opponents these last few games. Um, you know, it's just been a tough... Tough go, tough uh, basketball to watch. Like I said, obviously, those two terrible losses to uh, the Pistons and the Orlando Magic. Um, didn't fare much better against the Cavaliers on Sunday night there, you guys. Kept it kind of close. But at the end of the day, you could just tell the Cavaliers were the better team in this one. Um, you know, and it's been a big-time struggle not having Fred and OG in the lineup as of late. Obviously, OG Ananobi's still dealing with that uh, broken finger. He's probably out for another week or 10 days or so. Um, Fred Van Vliet's dealing with... Uh, a little bit of knee ailment, as well as I believe he does have a hernia that he's going to have to get dealt with in the off season that they're kind of keeping on the down low. They haven't really said too much about that, but I believe that is uh, an issue that he's dealing with that he's going to need surgery on. I think it's going to be a similar uh, surgery to what Dame Lillard just had with his uh, hernia that he got dealt with was his abdominal surgery. Um, and what basically put him out for the rest of the Portland Trailblazers season this year. I think, like I said, Fred's going to have something similar. I think he's going to gut it out and grind it out here if he can come back from the knee injury and just play through it um, to see if we can make some sort of a push in the play-in tournament slash the playoffs. Um, but nonetheless, you guys just want to come up with a quick video here to see, if, um, you know, kind of break down the Raptors' recent struggles and see if we can get back on track here. Um, through the final, you know, 16, 17 games of the season. Obviously, we've got a tough bit of games coming up here. Um, tough stretch of basketball heading out west. Um, so we'll have to see what happens, you guys. But overall, it's just been a real tough stretch, like I said. Only 2-5. and five. Um, You know, a lot of these teams that we lost to, we shouldn't have lost. Especially that Detroit-Orlando matchup. You know, should have beat both of those teams. Um, losing to the Pelicans by almost 30 points as well as uh, the Atlanta Hawks there coming out of the All-Star break. I mean, those were embarrassing games to watch. Um, you know, it was nice to be able to take two against Brooklyn there. Um, but at the end of the day, man, this team just doesn't look the same. We haven't been playing as uh, intense on the defensive side of the uh, floor as of late. Um, the young guns really have not been stepping up for us that much um, in the absence of Fred Van Vliet and OG Adenobi. Um, and then obviously Malachi Flynn was down with a hamstring injury as well in that Cleveland game. Um, he was probably our most notable young gun who was kind of, you know, coming into his own a little bit there. Even though we weren't winning some of those games, he was still playing pretty solid for us. Um, obviously he wasn't able to uh, play in the Cleveland game. I think that hurt us a little bit as well. Pascal didn't have his best game against Cleveland either. He was playing outstanding in some of the other matchups. Um, just wasn't getting a lot of help from the rest of the team. Um, Gary Trent Jr. has been atrocious. Um, since coming out of the All-Star break, you guys, I mean, his shooting stroke has been terrible. Got it, got it going a little bit there versus the Cavs, but still not not what we're used to seeing uh, prior to the All-Star break. Um, he's definitely going to need to get things rolling, especially we expected this guy to step up big time um, with the likes of Fred Van Vliet and OG Ananobio. We needed uh, a little more production coming from this guy, and we just haven't gotten it. Um, and, and, the, and the unfortunate thing with Gary Trent Jr., guys, is it seems like he just keeps wanting to huck up those three balls to try and get out of his shooting slump. Um, like I said, I, I want to see this guy drive it into the paint a lot more, try and get to the foul line a little more, shoot that mid-range. You could see him starting to do that a little bit more versus the Cavs in Sunday night's matchup, which got him going a little bit. I think he finished off with 19 points. Um, so, you know, he got his shooting stroke going a little bit there, and it really came off of him getting to the free throw line, driving to the paint, um, getting some lay-ins. Um, he made a couple three balls as well, but, you know, like I said, he got himself going um, by getting closer to the rim and making some baskets closer to the rim as well as getting to the free throw line. So I think if he continues on that trend um, and just doesn't continue to huck up these atrocious uh, three-point shots from all over the place, I think he can get a shooting stroke back here because um, we're des desperately going to need this guy to be a, a mid-20 scorer with guys like Freddie and OG out because um, Pascal's going to need some extra scoring help. Um, he's been playing pretty good basketball here, but he obviously can't do it by himself. Um, so we're just going to have to see what happens with that, you guys. And then some of the other young guns really haven't been stepping up too much. Preston Sachu has been hit and miss. Seems like whenever he has a bad offensive performance, his defense is lacking. Um, you know, we haven't really had any of the guys coming off the bench step up that big. Delano Banton hasn't really made a huge impact when he has gotten out on the floor. Uh, Svi Mihaluk's gotten some minutes out there the last couple of games. He's really done nothing for you. Um, you know, Yuta's brought a little bit of juice and energy, but he really hasn't had a lot of time out on the floor. 
Um, so it's just been a real tough stretch of basketball to watch you guys. A lot of bad defense out there. A lot of just set, settling for jump shots and not trying to drive into the paint. The only player on the on the Raptors squad that's been consistent um, in his play and driving into the paint and and getting those buckets around the rim has been Pascal Siaka, man. He's been doing a phenomenal job doing exactly what we need him to. You know, he's not hucking up a bunch of shitty three-point shots. He's making sure he's getting inside the paint, driving to the rack, looking to co uh, create contact and cause uh, a foul or, you know, get a nice lay-in around the hoop. So you got to commend him for his efforts. Uh, we just need some guys to step up around him and give him some help. Um, you know, our bench needs to step up a little bit here. Um, we've seen Armani Brooks play a little bit there in Sunday night's game. Didn't really give us too much, but um, obviously his first game with the squad, um, you know, and wasn't able to get a lot of minutes out on the floor. So we'll have to see if he can be a little bit of a shooting threat for us um, in the games to come here. Uh, but as of right now, you guys, we've got a two and a half game lead in the seventh spot over the Brooklyn Nets. I think I think the Raptors are definitely going to be a lock for the play-in tournament this year. Um, you know, I would love to see us get into that sixth seed. I think we've kind of lost our chances on that one. Um, due to the uh, bad play that we've had over the last few games here. We had a really good opportunity um, if we were be, be able to beat Detroit and Orlando as well as uh, the Cleveland Cavaliers, we would have been able to take over that sixth seed. But unfortunately, with the three uh, straight losses in a row here, Cleveland has now got a, a good little lead on us. Um, so we're going to have to get, get back on a big-time win streak and hope that they lose a few to be able to get locked into that sixth seed. I think that's going to be a tough uphill battle for us going forward here. I definitely think we could lock in that seventh or the eighth spot. Um, you know, worst case scenario, we drop down to nine or ten and have, I think it's Atlanta and uh, the Charlotte Hornets that are in there right now. They may overtake us um, if we continue this bad stretch. I know the Raptors got a good West Coast trip coming up here as well. We got the Spurs coming up uh on Wednesday here, so that should be a, you know, has to be a win for the Raptors team, you guys. I mean, the Spurs are obviously not in playoff contentions right now out West. You know, they're kind of in a rebuild mode, um, you know, and the way the Raptors have been playing lately. They definitely, desperately are going to need, need this win, um, especially with games against the Phoenix Suns and Denver Nuggets coming up right after that game against the Spurs. I mean, those are going to be two very tough games to win. The only advantage you got right now is that I believe Chris Paul is out for a few weeks with... Uh, with an injury, so I don't think he's available for the Suns. And then obviously on the Nuggets side of things, it's just Nikola Jokic holding things together with Jamal Murray and Michael Porter Jr. haven't been available for him much this season. Um, you know, so we got to really take advantage of that and hopefully try and win at least one of those two games against those two big time opponents, as well as take the game against the Spurs to try and get ourselves back on track here. Like I said, a two and five record's not going to cut it. Coming out of the All Star break, we're going to have to get things turned around very quickly here. Um, it's going to be interesting to see how long Fred Van Vliet's going to be out of the lineup for. I don't think he's going to be the same healthy Freddie that we've seen earlier on in the season either. I think those minutes really caught up to him. Um, you know, obviously playing that 40, 40 minutes a night, basically. He's the, plays uh, more minutes than any, anyone else in the uh, NBA right now. Um, so, you know, obviously injuries are going to start to, to compile on you and on your body over time. So it's very unfortunate um, that that's where we're at. But it just goes to show how important it is to get some bench depth. Um, you know, and a lot of us uh, Raptors fans were kind of harping on Nick Nurse to get some of those bench players out there, give give a few minutes to them and give our guys like Fred Van Vliet and Pascal and OG a little more rest. Um, and you can kind of see why Nick Nurse didn't play them now because these guys have not stepped up with a, a, a bigger role since we've had guys like Freddie and OG out. They really haven't done anything uh, to solidify us. Uh, uh, more minutes out on the floor. Obviously, they've had no choice but to play some of these guys more minutes because we do have some of our top end guys out. Um, but at the end of the day, we need some more from our bench unit. We need some more from them young guns to step up. I would like to see Nick Nurse play Champagne a little bit more. I feel like he brings a good good amount of energy coming off the bench for you. He can rebound really well. Um, you know, his three-point shot's been getting better throughout the year. He's starting to knock that down a little bit more for you. He's really good at getting that offensive boards, finishing the putbacks around the rim on the offensive end of the floor. Um, so I'd like to see him get a little more minutes. He hasn't really been playing a lot lately. Um, you know, unfortunate DJ Wilson got that injury, so he hasn't been able to play. We'll have to see if Armani Brooks is going to get some more minutes there. I know he can drop the, down the three-point shot, so he might be a good shooting threat for us coming off the bench. Um, but we'll just have to see what happens, you guys. Very tough stretch of basketball. Um, that we've dealt with lately. It's not getting any easier going out on our West Coast road trip here. Um, Raptors are definitely going to have to step it up here, um, you know, over these next few games if they're going to want to solidify themselves in the play-in tournament as well as trying to push forward for that sixth seed. 
Um, but that pretty well wraps it up for this video. You guys just kind of want to talk about the current Raptors situation and if they'll be able to get back on track this season. Like I said, I think we're destined for a play-in play spot, and then we're just hoping to try and get into uh, the 8th seed or the 7th seed, um, you know, and being able to make it into that first round of the playoffs. We'll have to see what happens. We'd love your guys' opinion in the comment section down below. You think we've got an opportunity to uh, make it into the top six, or you think we're going to be destined for a play-in spot this uh, this year, you guys, like I said, would love your guys' opinion in the comment section down below. That pretty well wraps it up for this video. Uh, please go ahead and like this video if you like sporting content like this. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you're looking for more sporting content like this in the near future. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, man, and this is Mizzy with Mizzy Sports Chat. Bye.